Welcome back to the Gravity Tennis Podcast. My name is Scott, and while I've been coaching for more than 20 years, I've spent the last decade specializing in helping players learn to play with less muscle tension, increasing their access to power, while decreasing their risk of injury. In this episode, we're going to be discussing three physics concepts that can improve your tennis. Now, you might be asking, why physics? And the answer is that an understanding of the following concepts will allow you to better recognize the rhythmic patterns of tennis and in turn make the game easier, more predictable, and more intuitive. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words, so if you want to see some very useful visuals, make sure you check out my blog of the same post at gravitytennis.com. Moving forward, we're going to talk about concept number one, objects of unequal mass fall at the same rate. All objects, whether it's a light tennis ball, a relatively heavier racket, or even your much heavier body, all fall at the same constant rate of acceleration. The implication here is that if you allow your racket to fall into the ball at the right time, you can coordinate a stroke with a minimum of muscular interference. Now this only works if you're very relaxed. If you rely on muscular effort to time your stroke, you're always going to be struggling against the force of gravity and your own inertia. Instead, by learning how to allow the racket to just freely fall, you get into a natural synchronicity with the bounce of the ball. Now let's talk about the second concept. The linear velocity of an object does not impact the gravitational constant. So in other words, regardless of how fast the ball is traveling across the court, the rate of rise and fall will stay constant. So whether you're playing mini tennis or you're at the baseline, as long as the ball is at a certain height, it's going to fall to the ground at the same rate as a shot hit, whether it's 100 miles per hour or just dropped out of your hand. So in terms of how you react to the ball, you can really just focus squarely on the bounce of the ball to get into the right rhythm. Now, concept number three is known as the pendulum constant. This states that a pendulum of a fixed length will take the same amount of time to complete one period, that's one cycle forward and back, regardless of how high it's dropped. Now, that's a lot of information, but think about it like this. Your shoulder going down your arm and connecting to your racket well, that's essentially a kind of pendulum. And the pendulum constant basically means that regardless of how big your backswing is, by allowing gravity to do the work for your swing, it will actually be the same timing. The reason why this is so important is because it impacts the way that you can control your racket. You don't need to use muscle tension. Instead, by shortening your backswing but remaining loose, you can ensure that the rhythm of your swing will be unchanged regardless of how big your backswing is. So when you pair that, with concept number two, mini tennis takes on a whole new meaning. As long as you remain relaxed and rely on dynamic movements, you can use a smaller swing while maintaining the same basic rhythmic consistency and timing as you gradually get longer and faster with your strokes and move progressively back. So that's it, the three physics concepts that will really affect the way that you approach the game. Learning to use these three concepts to your advantage will give you the confidence you need to trust in being loose and to rely on gravity for your timing, control, and power. Thanks so much for checking this episode out. As I said in the beginning, this was a pretty abstract episode, and you might really find it helpful to get some visual illustrations of these concepts. So if that's something that you'll find helpful, I'd encourage you to go to gravitytennis.com and click on the blog link on the front page. Once again, thanks so much for listening to this podcast. Look forward to seeing you next week. Stay loose, everyone. <laughs>